So the tips, tricks, and tactics, as you hear me speak, you're going to hear a lot of outs and abouts. It's because I'm Canadian, so bear with me. So, you've been sitting in sessions with challenge. You've already been hearing this. You've already been going through this. The reality is, myself and yourself, we're both sales professionals, your buyer has completely changed. Whether you like it or not, the majority of the buying process is happening without you. I live in the city of Toronto, and in the city of Toronto, they're actually removing sales reps from car dealerships because they're unnecessary. I just bought a brand new car, and I showed up at the dealership with a printed sheet that outlined the car I wanted, the features I wanted, what I wanted. The reality is, is that your buyer is able to do the exact same thing online. They're actually able to begin their search with Google, with their networks and LinkedIn. They're actually able to reach out peer to peer. This is how buyers are buying. And I want to introduce you right now to your buyer. Your buyer is mobile enabled. Your buyer is somebody that wants answers yesterday because they have the capability of reaching out to networks and finding information. I want to know a quick raise of hands. Who here logged into LinkedIn today? Okay. I'm going to raise the, who here has a premium account? Okay. Everything that I'm going to show you today, you will be able to do with a free account, which is great. These will be six tips you can run away with for the free account. The premium is only a bonus. So what you're going to find, as you've noticed that your buyer has changed, I think that you're in the session because you've realized that your buyer has changed. There are three fundamental challenges that you're having. Number one, who here wants more leads? Who here feels that marketing isn't giving them enough leads? Don't worry, don't raise your hands. Typically, that's one of the biggest objections that I hear. Marketing isn't producing me enough leads. And number two, is that you want a perpetual lead generation machine. You don't want to be entering the first of every month feeling, I have to pound on the telephone to find new opportunities. This is the other core challenge. We were all hired to cold call. Who here really likes cold call? Fantastic. One person. The reality is, is you know you need to do it, but that doesn't mean that A, you like it, or B, that it's becoming or still is effective. You know that you need to try social, but you don't know where to begin. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to give you tactical tips that you're going to be able to run with. Here's where the state of the union is. Here's exactly where we are. I know your industry. Your industry is educating your buyer. Your industry sharing content is a resource to your buyer, to those VPs of HR. So whether you like it or not, your clients, your prospects are learning with or without you. And it's up to you to decide, do you want to get on the train and be able to help them through their buying journey? Or do you want to be invisible? Because the team that shares content, the team that actually helps shape the way the buyer thinks, wins 65% of the time, according to Forrester. And I've actually heard that that's, that statistic is low. The reality is, is those that are educating the buyer through their buying journey are winning deals. And so, for the first time in history, you, as an individual sales professional, need to build a brand. You are what the buyer wants. They don't want Kronos. They don't want the logo Kronos. They want you. They want to trust you. So if you're building a brand, you've probably seen these two types of sales professionals, which drive buyers crazy. The first one is the quota crusher. The guy or girl that's 130% of plan and they make President's Club three years in a row. I want you to be a VP of HR. Think for a moment, what does that do for me? How does that help me? It doesn't help me at all. The second person is the worst offender. The second person is about to convince that buyer to spend six figures or seven figures with you. You've got to remember, be that for a second. Be a chief technology officer for one moment. They're going to spend seven figures with you. If they screw up this deal, they're fired. Plain and simple. I mean, that is like 10 times their salary. So they go on LinkedIn and they're about to trust you with a major decision. They go on LinkedIn and you're basically invisible. No information, no sharing content, you don't demonstrate best practices. How can that person trust you at all? And so that's what we want to solve. Those that have solved